Over here in little old England, we're following the American election like you do the divorce trial of your auntie and uncle. For everyone's sake, we're hoping that it all ends amicably, whoever wins what. But secretly, we're loving the scandal of all of it. You think she's a prostitute? Who said that? I've never said it. Well, he never said that. Not me. So get your facts right. This year's election kind of feels like when a reality TV show tries to boost its ratings by putting on ever more annoying and outrageous candidates. And I love it when they do that. <laughs> oh my god! I'm, I'm sitting on the wine box. But one thing that we're missing over this side of the pond is just why this presidential race isn't over already. Donald Trump is such a soundbite catastrophe, almost daily saying things that would sink a regular campaign. This was locker room talk. And yet his tacky cruise liner of a campaign is still as afloat as the Titanic was for the first half of the movie Titanic. <laughs> Get him out of here! Get out! Get him out of here! So how has Hillary not already won this? What are we missing? She's crooked as you can be! Hillary to us is just one of those people who's just been around in American politics forever. Like, when I found out that she was running for president, a part of me sort of thought, hasn't she already been president? Like, just for a few years? So I did some digging, and it turns out that she definitely wasn't. But this guy was. Do you remember him? President Clinton? Bill Clinton was abusive to women. Grab him by the pussy. So Big Billy Clinton doesn't seem to have the greatest reputation anymore. In that way, he's kind of like Tony Blair or Jimmy Savile. For all the good things that they did, once you start an illegal war, touch a shitload of underage girls, or shag the intern and then lie about it under oath, it all kind of goes out the window a little bit. So if Bill Clinton's kind of like Tony Blair, then does that make Hillary Clinton like Sherry Blair? Maybe that's why people don't like her. We haven't even started with Crooked Hillary yet. Hillary for prison! It's coming! I should have used two accounts. One for personal, one for uh, work-related emails. If you haven't heard about Hillary's hacked emails, it's kind of like the fappening, only slightly less arousing. If you didn't understand that joke, Mum, please don't go Googling the fappening. I did not email any um, classified material. Really, Hillary? She's crooked. She's crooked. She's crooked. My granddad used to say that the American presidential election was far too big a decision to be made by Americans. But I'm glad I don't have to make the choice. This decision sucks. Till next time, I've been Brooke Driver. Good luck, America. You're gonna fucking need it.